Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we're talking about another piece of tech. We're not in the workshop uh, just because we're trying to quickly smash this video out uh, ahead of the Integrate Expo uh, that's happening this week in Sydney for AV Technologies. Uh, the tech we're talking about today, very much on the video side of things, it's um, LED big screens. You all will have seen them uh, in stadiums, you know, sports stadiums or music concerts and things like that. Uh, we're starting to see these screens uh, become much, much more affordable. Um, that's why they're starting to pop up more in, in hospitality and commercial spaces as well. Uh, we've even had a few uh, schools that are interested in them. Um, why would somebody go for an LED big screen product over something more like an LCD panel, like what you see behind me, or that your normal TV in your living room, something like that? A um, few reasons, one, these can be used indoors and outdoors. Uh, you can make custom sizes with them. Um, so you don't have to do the standard 16 by nine landscape uh, kind of format or ratios that you see here in the studio. They're much brighter. So again, when they're being used outside or in, in really bright environments, these can handle and still be viewed much, much better than a, a typical LCD panel. Um, they depreciate much less. So uh, and again, this is comparing to a normal TV. Uh, so when you make your investment um, over a you know kind of ten year period, you'll get a fair whack of your money back on something like this. But you'll pretty much get nothing back for an old LCD panel. Um, and these are much, much, much more durable. So if you've got to put a, a display in a high traffic area where lots of people can be touching it or walking past. Um, uh, these panels are designed to handle that kind of um, impact and wear, where generally the LCD panels will just end up being um, smashed and broken. So this product here, um, what is it? It's from a company called Lampro. Um, it's a 2.6 mil indoor outdoor rated screen. 2.6 mil just means uh, the space between the little individual chips here. You're not gonna be able to see it on the cameras here in the studio, but I'll put up a, gra a graphic on, on screen in the edit. So one one note on the durability side of compared, when we're comparing these with like the LCD products, you'll notice here that out of this cabinet, uh, I've actually got one of the panels popped out. So this is front and rear serviceable, so you can pop it in and out here just to, uh, to replace the, the panel. Why would you ever need to re replace the panel? Really, if there was something that went wrong with the connector here, there is one connector that um, connects into the, the, the receiving cards on the back. I'll show you that in a second. Um, or if some of your pixels started to die. The durability, why I say durability, is so if your pixels did die, uh, which is very rare generally, it's only if somebody goes over and picks up them or something like that, your whole screen still operates. It's just like a tiny little pixel that'll be gone. Whereas if something goes wrong with a, a, a pixel equivalent on an LCD screen, you actually lose your X and Y lines. So there'll be big lines through your screen. Um, that's quite rare. What's more likely to happen on an LCD product is you'll actually just crack the panel and so the whole screen's dead. Yeah, while you can get them repaired, more often than not, the repair cost is actually more expensive than what the TV is worth, so you're just up for replacing it. Uh, so there's the cost of the new panel plus the downtime. Um, where something like this, any just about anyone can pop these panels out, put in your replacement one, and then when the time comes that you think it might need, you might need some more spares, we can have these repaired here in Australia, um, and then make sure that your screen stays up and running. So. On the back here, this is if the power supply and receiving cards are all inside here. Again, all weather sealed up. Um, you can see the mounting hardware. This is more for an installation type uh, screen. So it doesn't have, compared to the ones that you might be setting up and pulling down regularly, um, it's more designed to be bolted together instead of quick release uh, latches. Uh, all the power gets daisy chained through the panel. So again depending on the size of your screen but generally power comes in one side goes out the other same with your video signal so that's these guys here so that's where your video comes in and you can set that up or we set it up for you so that signal travels through the whole screen 
So nothing too uh, exciting or brand new. People have generally seen these before out in the wild. Probably haven't seen much of the tech behind it or understand the economics behind why it might work for your business. Um, but please get in touch if uh, you're at school or somebody in hospitality or with a commercial space because you might be surprised at how these will uh, work in your business. Uh, we can do some really, really cool stuff with the content on them as well, make it all interactive and things like that. Um, so yeah, get in touch. Uh, we'd love to show you some of the products. Um, we can also organize demos like this one here so you can actually get hands on and, and see them and uh, see how it might work for you. See you soon. This was recorded at the Media Joint.